There's a, a remarkable lady of Ghanaian ancestry who has been living in the United States for a very, very long time. She's trying to grab two professorships at the same time, a PhD at the same time. She had fond memories of her mother preparing plantain meals, frying kelewele in an iron pot. And it stayed with her. She decided to experiment and get the best out of plantain. And guess what? She's been able to experiment with big flavors, all of it put together, crushed together. The recent past, Afrochella saw her there. I've got in the studio our own Rachel Lai. Welcome. Good morning. <laughs> Thank How are you, you doing? Thank you so much. Good morning. Good to, good good to morning. have you here. Thank you for having me. First of all, let me congratulate you uh, for deciding to do this because Thank people you. have not put out planting as much as it should be put mm -hmm. out. So congratulations. Thank you so much. How does it feel to be on top of the world? <laughs> I don't know. You know, I just love plantain so much. And so it's just been a fun journey and opportunity to kind of see where it all can go, mm. really. Yeah. When you decided to do this ice cream, plantain, mm -hmm. whatever it is, what was the reaction, especially from family? From family? Yeah. I would say they were kind of curious because I think, especially with my mother's generation, mm. they're used to plantains a certain way. Mm. They grew up having kelowele the way that I say it right. with my American right. accent. Um, you know, cockro, tatale, mm. some of these other dishes, they never even heard of plantain ice cream or okay. plantain cookies mm. or the other things that I do. So they were kind of just curious and surprised that mm. one, you could even do any of that with plantain right. in the first place. And so they're like, okay, you can try it, see mm. how it goes, see mm. if people like it. Um, and then I started doing festivals, different events, and the reception was, was really good. And okay. so, you know, over time, they kind of grew more and more acclimated to mm. it. They're like, oh, this is cool. This is cool. See, yeah. how long did it take you for you to decide that, look, I'm not doing kaklu, I'm not doing kelewele, I'm mm -hmm. not doing tatale, mm -hmm. I'm not doing uh, ofam, or the regular things mm -hmm. that we know mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. planting to be used for, but you're going to do this. Yeah. You hadn't done food science, by right. the way. No. You're doing... Uh, anthropology and all of that. Yes, yes. So where did you get the food science from? You know, I always thought from the beginning, I always wanted to do something new and different. And it started with, like you were saying before, I just love plantains growing up mm, on them. Sure. Um, but I thought, you know, there's so many different things you could probably do with them. Because if you think about potatoes, mm. which are a very versatile starch, people mm. do all different kinds of stuff with them, right. fries right. or shepherd's pie, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And plantains are a similar kind of starch, mm -hmm. except we're lucky in the sense that when they get ripe, they get okay. very sweet. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, you know, why not try and do different things? They're really healthy. They're a good vegan alternative. I'm vegan myself. Mm -hmm. um, and so from the very beginning, I always wanted to make it about health and innovation to right. do different things, but also keep it healthy. Mm. Yeah. You're vegetarian. I'm vegan. How long have you done it? Six years now. Six years yes. now. Your yes. parents for young too? No, 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 no. no. I'm the only one who eats meat in my family. <laughs> <laughs> they give me a hard time. <laughs> they give you a hard time. There's no social protection. No, none uh, whatsoever. I, I, I had to do it for 10 years and at some point I quit. But I'm curious about this. So you, mm -hmm. you brought this to Afrochella. Yes, I did. W what was the reaction like that? It was good. It was, it was good. It was good. And it was interesting because a lot of folks actually, because I live in New York, a lot of people from New York actually mm. came, stopped by the booth, had some of the ice cream. They were familiar with the brand. And then, of course, locals here as well tried it as well. <laughs> and it's funny because my business, I've called it Kelo LA as mm. kind of an ode to the first plantain dish okay. I ever had growing okay. up as a kid. Okay. And so people would come up to the tent and expect to, to have, have fries. Exactly, okay. exactly. But I was like, oh, no, 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 we have plantain ice cream. And so we would kind of pull people in and engage them. Mm. And the response was good. So, Smart move. Yeah. So yeah. you tell them you're serving Kelo LA mm -hmm. that by the label. They come <laughs> yes. in and you serve them ice mm -hmm. cream. Mm -hmm. How difficult is it or tedious is it to I mean, we don't bananas, mm -hmm. and if you mash banana, it becomes slimy, if you will. Right. How difficult is it to get ice cream, for example, out of banana and not still have the slime in it? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll say it's taken me, you know, the better part of a year to get the ice cream to the place that it's at because it's different. Because mm -hmm. since it's vegan, it doesn't use cow's milk or anything like that. Okay. We create plantain milk as the base for it, and mm -hmm. so. It's a whole tedious process to kind of get it to the right consistency. And it's not easy. Mm. It's not easy. But now we've got it to a good place. We use the correct machinery to produce it in New York. So mm. um, it's been a process, but it's, you know. And you manage really all of that with trying to acquire a dual PhD yes. from Yale University. Yes, yes. Do you have time on your hands? 
not enough. <laughs> not enough time. So how do you do it? I'm curious. I mean, you sacrifice and balance as best as you can. I think, you know, I'm in a place where I have this great business that's starting small, but we're expanding, and then my PhDs as well. And, you know, there's not a lot of time to socialize or right. do kind of extracurricular activities right now, but I feel like if I just focus and put in the hard work now, then it'll pay off later. So it's really just about sacrifice and keeping my head down and working hard. We, we all do know that entrepreneurship is then is the way to go yeah, these days. Yeah. But somebody will say, look, if you're done with Yale or when you're done with Yale, you could have two PhDs. Mm -hmm. You could lecture in any university of mm -hmm. your choice all over the world. Mm -hmm. You could get a job anywhere, nine to five. Yeah. Why wouldn't you stick with that and you want to stress yourself mm -hmm. uh, doing banana ice cream <laughs> and, and yeah. plantain ice cream? Yeah, I mean, to that question, I think that Yes, I could lecture anywhere, I could be a professor, but that just doesn't fulfill me enough. I think that would be fulfilling, but I think there's so much more that I could do. And I don't even see this as stress, to be honest, because I truly love plantains that much. Okay. And so I'm always just excited to make different things, have people try it, see what they think. It's really a labor of love at okay. the end of the day. So I see it that way. Yeah. But the brand is big in the U.S. It's growing. It is it's growing. growing. Yeah, we're By what percentage would you put to that? Well, even just last year, we grew by 200% in terms of our kind of social impact and okay. the community that we had, mm -hmm. both, you know, virtually, but also in person. And we were able to do some events in LA, <coughs> Seattle, mm -hmm. um, Philadelphia. So we've expanded beyond New York. And we've also got okay. a lot of restaurant partnerships where our ice cream is as mm -hmm. well. So we've grown. And I've only been doing this for a year and a half. And the financials? They've been the good. We're net positive at the Boston. end of the day, yeah, which is incredibly hard to do as a small business, okay. even within your first year. What do we have here? I see choco. Yes. Choco, <laughs> plantain choco ice cream. Yes. Or what do you call it? So these are, this is the dark chocolate flavor. Okay. And this is the vibranium, very much vibranium. Wakanda inspired. Wakanda. <laughs> yes. Mm. And so it's black because there's activated charcoal in it. And okay. activated charcoal is actually quite good for you. It's a good kind of digestive cleanser. Hold on. You put charcoal that we used to cook. No, this yeah. one, this one is edible organic charcoal. So this is the one you can eat. This is not the one that you cook with. Okay. <laughs> so this is the edible charcoal. This is the edible charcoal. Not that we, the one we used to do. No, 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 not that one. Yes. Okay. So, so this, this is one, charcoal. Yes. Uh, edible charcoal. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. Or activated charcoal. Activated charcoal. That's why you get the black color, but the flavor it's called vibranium. 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 And so there's charcoal in this, there's plantain in this, what else? There's plantain, there's a little bit of coconut cream and coconut, coconut milk, and a little bit of sugar. So there's very few ingredients in this. And then with the dark chocolate one, there's plantain milk, coconut milk, a little bit of cream, and then also cocoa powder. Okay, how long does it take to make this? Oh goodness, I mean, depending on the size, but if it were this one, it'd probably take me about, Four or five hours. Four or five hours. Mm -hmm. and you can make what quantity? what quantity? I can make a big quantity, okay. about you know a few hundred ounces okay. of ice cream. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And and you can store it for for how long? Of course, for about two months. Do you add preservatives? No. Okay. No preservatives. So this is vegan friendly. Vegan friendly. No milk whatsoever. Like I said, we make it out of plantain milk, and okay. so. You're not going to find Plantain any. Plantain milk. Mm -hmm. Where do you get that from? Do they sell them? Like no, they Coco don't. Dairy? They don't. Okay. It's my own invention, copyrighted, and uh, I don't give away the recipe. But yes, that's the base of the ice cream. It's Plantain, Plantain milk. milk. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> let's taste it. All right. So I let's want do to it. enjoy. No, let's start with a, a the vibranium. Wakanda inspired <laughs> vibranium coconut. Okay, just let's a little. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to. Uh, Keep your figure. Yes. Okay. Small one. <laughs> so that's, I'm sure. So this is the vibranium. Uh, yeah, vibranium. Okay, so there's, there's charcoal in this. Mm -hmm. You're not eating. <laughs> <laughs> I've had it so many times over. Uh, but so that I try, I'm very superstitious. You want me to have some mm. with you? Okay, I'll have a little bit. I'm very superstitious. Okay. Mm. What do nice. you think? Not bad. <laughs> Because you get the texture of the charcoal. Yeah. You get it? Yeah. But it tastes fruity. Yeah. With the plantain. Can you eat this with bread? I like it to be heavy. Yeah. Mm. I've never had ice cream with bread before. Yeah. We I'm like sure. to try new things. <laughs> I'm sure you could do So, like it. bread, 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 uh, banana, uh, no. 
uh, Wakanda vibranium spread. Oh, interesting. On your bread. Yeah. That's different. Mm. I might have to create a plantain spread like okay. that. And then the chocolate? One. Okay. And it's nice. Yeah? I can feel the charcoal in my mouth, mm -hmm. like charcoal mm -hmm. powder. Mm -hmm. It's good for you. Eh, what does it do? So it's a good digestive cleanser. Okay. So it's basically like, you know, if you just want to kind of clean your system, okay. it's good to put a little bit of charcoal maybe in your water or to do a gargle mm. or a smoothie. You just put a couple t uh, teaspoons in but, there. But charcoal means that we're doing a lot of deforestation. Mm -hmm. Climate change conversation, right. deforestation. Right, right. 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 I won't be happy with you, especially with a vegetarian mm -hmm. who thinks about the earth and the and the environment and environment. Yeah. So it's a good what's point. Your, what's your response to that? I don't have a good one. I would say that you know we're not. I'm not in the business of using the kind of charcoal that we're familiar with. Organic charcoal, typically the ways in which it's sourced mm -hmm. is more environmentally friendly. Okay. And so in that regard, I think it's better. But to your can, can point, can I mix the two? Sure, why not? Okay, I, I'm just asking. <laughs> but um, you know, with everything like that, as you continue to scale and you're using vast quantities, you always have to be mindful of how you source it. But for now, it is environmentally friendly, especially since it's the organic kind. I like it. How expensive is it? So a case like this would be twenty-seven dollars. Okay. Plus tax, either way, or our classic flavors. Twenty-seven dollars. Um, mm-hmm. But time, usually they come five. in That's six ounces. That's a lot ounces. of money in Ghana. It is. But would you get five of these at one time? Um, oh, you get five of these at one No, no, no. You get one. One is $27. Okay, let me do the math. My math is terrible. <laughs> but 27 times five. That's a lot of money. It is a lot to of money. Um, but, it's healthy, ice cream. but it's healthy. But it's healthy. It's different. It has plantain in it. Okay. It's nutritious. So it's when worth you, it. When you, if you eat this, mm -hmm. um, what are the health benefits? Let's talk about that quickly and then we can wrap up. Yeah, so as you, I'm sure you know, plantains are very nutritious. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of vitamin A, vitamin B, um, high in fiber, so they're very good for your digestive system as well. They're, um, and what's interesting is that plantains and the plantain milk that we create, it's double the amount of vitamin D that you would get in regular cow's milk. Mm -hmm. Which is considerable, right? right? So if you're eating ice cream, it's actually healthy for you to eat. Oftentimes when you have ice cream, it's like a junk food. Mm -hmm. It's a mm -hmm. treat that you really shouldn't be doing. But this is something you can feel good about because there's okay. literally nothing bad in mm. it. Except for the little bit of added sugar, but it's minimal. But the sugar is minimized. Mm -hmm. Very much so. Wow. Yeah. What do you think of the chocolate flavor? I'm, I'm proud of you. I am lost <laughs> for words. I am very proud of you. Oh, thank you. That this, this is innovative. And I wish that it will go, it will go up there. And I hope that when you, when you blow, as yes. we say, yes. nobody will claim you like the British have claimed Osibisa mm. to be their own. <laughs> Crystal is here. I saw you enjoying, and I yeah, was like, can I have some it's of this? Time. I'm enjoying. Please do vibranium. Vibranium. Okay. I should yeah. start with that one. Yeah, like okay. I did. Yeah. You feel the charcoal, so mm. it will yes. be equal. <laughs> so it will be equal. <laughs> Thank mm. you. Mm. Ooh, okay. Mm. There we go. Charcoal. <laughs> Nine, nine flo. Mm. <laughs> what do you think? I actually love it. Do you? Yeah, yeah I do. Yes, it's what good. What's going through your mind right now as you eat it? Tell I'm me. trying to pick the flavor. Mm, okay. Yeah. okay. So you know you have your flavor sets there, yes. but it doesn't it doesn't fit one. I think there's right. some fruits in there as well. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I see some fruits. It's fruity. Mm. Yeah, it's but then you have the it's texture fresh. of the charcoal. Yeah, the texture yeah. of the charcoal. I love it. Oh, good. Mm, amazing. I it activates to your taste buds. Mm. There you go. How there you go. Activating. <laughs> and, spirit. Activating. and you asked about bread. Yeah. There's waffles. Huh? Ice cream and waffles. No, oh, it's go. junk. I like my bread. So pancake is junk. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Then, then bread is also junk. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but this has been a well, good so, one. So how can we reach out to you? I mean, your social handles yes, and all of that. So yes. Quickly, yeah. So you can check out the website. It's yeah. kalawelenyc.com. No, no, slow down. I know. <laughs> you're right. You're yeah. right. So the website is kalawele. 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 Okay. Am I saying it right now? Yeah. Kalawele. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kalawele nyc.com that's the website and then our instagram page is the same it's kelewele nyc yes okay. oh, yes small small oh, small small yes. which, 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 so what's your what's your indigenous name nadu nadu, nadu. Mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. uh, but nadu should be able to speak <laughs> okay. next time i see you i will yeah you i will. promise Good. yes yes yes
So you'll be around for a while and we'll oh, talk. Oh, yes. You know of ngai. Course. Ngai. <laughs> what is that? It's charcoal. Activated oh, charcoal. Oh, that's how you say it? Yeah. Inga, yes. Inga. Yeah, that's how we are supposed to say it. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> All of us here, that's how we are supposed okay. to say it. Okay. I'll keep yes. that. Yes, it's ngai. Hmm. Ngai. Yeah, Got ngai. It. Nice. I'll keep that one. Okay, hey, Amadang planting. Oh yes, Amadang. You know Amadang. Yes, I do. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I it's do. Amadang. It's Amadang. Amadang. Dang. Dang. Oh, yeah. there's no <laughs> Amadang. <then. laughs> Stretching the young lady, Rachel Lyon. Thank oh, you very much for coming, yes. man. And I wish you all the best.